So, there we have cesium. As you can see at the moment, it's really quite solid. So I'm just going to warm up with my fingers. Now this stuff has a reputation for being an absolute beast for reactivity, but I think, it's my opinion, that most of it is just bluster. That this stuff is nowhere near as reactive as people said it. They said it like bursts into flames when in contact with air, which I don't believe. So I think I burnt the needle. Oh, this fairly easily. Oh, there we go. There's cesium for you. It's a little warm, but come outside of my needle. What you'll find is this stuff really does catch fire incredibly easily. There we go. Cesium burning. Um, I mean, this is the thing. Um, this is about uh, three, four hundred dollars worth of cesium. It's five grams, which means that it's. Um, there we go. So we're molten already. Yeah. So it's about uh, fifty, sixty dollars a gram, which makes it about the same price as cocaine. So here I've got it partially melted. I'm just going to melt the rest of that. That's melting anyway. I'm just going to melt it with my fingers. Just like that. Melting the cesium with my fingers. Boom. And it's very little fluid. I mean, when you compare this to actually sodium potassium alloy, that's got a really quite high surface tension. This is actually much more like water. So it's just another comparison of the three alloys. As you can see, there's really not a lot to be had between them. You know, I've had concerns whether it'll uh, actually sit in the syringe. But anyway. Okay, so we've done all the reactions we can with the cesium. This is almost empty. So I've sealed up what I can, with what equipment I can, in there. It's only like uh, half a mil, maybe. Okay. Give it a blast. There you go. That's that kind of funky.